Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sansha. In today's video, I'm gonna be setting up my Ink Bucket Planner for the upcoming week, starting on January 10th and ending on January 16th. So let's get right into it. And for the stickers, I'm gonna be using the Ink Bucket sticker book. I have just been loving this year's sticker book. It's just so gorgeous. You know, I wanted to do a video showing, doing a flip through of this, but I've already used like so many of them and I've just been loving it. So I thought, why not just do an entire spread with this particular sticker book? So I wanted to use these winter themed stickers. They're so, so beautiful and just really love the colors too. And we're, I feel like, I feel like we're getting into the thick of winter it's getting really cold and i just wanted to use these stickers to sort of um represent that time in my planner so let's get started i think first i want to like add actually you know what before that i wanted to use this um uh, homebody sticker book too i thought i'll get in some quote that i could add in here because i've been liking to add a quote it's something that i like that is the first thing that um i see when i open my planner to plan for my day so i like that i think i'll go ahead with something that's in here grow a happy life is nice um yeah i think i'll go with that it's it's a simple quote and some of the actually some quotes are repeated too let me just have a look if that's there i wanted something in like word format rather than a box sticker so show a happy life okay i don't think that's there so let's use this one over here with this and last week i asked you guys like what you are doing with this particular section and some of you said that you're using it for like to put an inspirational quote for the week i do feel like that is that's a really nice thing and some of you are using it for like a weekly to-do list something that i do here but you're using this for the affirmation and this one for the weekly to-do list and also word of the week that is really really nice i i feel like it'll be interesting to try out but since i have like um i've just recently you know created a page for my word for 2022 i that word is still like fresh in my mind so i was like it's a good idea. I think I might want to try in the future. Why am I not able to put this straight? Sometimes these stickers are like so easy to... Like I do it so quickly and sometimes even the smallest thing takes a lot of time. Okay, I think we're okay with this. The reason why I wanted to add like on the side is because i want to i want to put this like winter what do you call this like a wall hanging a board over here i also like having the weekly numbers i think that's something which i didn't really know like i thought it I didn't really pay attention to it i didn't know whether it will make a difference or not but i've been really liking it it's nice to see the progress you know you sometimes you feel like oh my god where has january gone or where has like we've already three months through 2021 i think like seeing uh every week progressing it is it is such a nice feeling so i've started adding week numbers in my other planners too it's just something nice that I like. Um, I really liked. So, yeah. Okay. So, I definitely want to add this, like, over the weekend. I wish... No, actually, I don't wish. I was thinking I wish I could be like this all winter. But, no, I really like um, going out. It's, it's definitely getting a lot more uncomfortable. 
but it's nice to get some fresh air in and like go out for a walk today was one of those days where i just didn't feel like going out at all then i was like you know what just just for five minutes let's go for five minutes and come back but then i ended up going i didn't go like my full uh route the the usual route that i take but i think i did like 60 to 70 percent of what i usually do so that is that's quite good it was definitely like the chillier it has ever been this season okay and uh last week's plan with me in last week's plan with me i did mention about uh like i'm feeling a bit uncomfortable writing in these lines and i noticed in my uh you know when i was doing my weekly reflections it was even more painful because i wrote it continuously on my daily pages i put stickers so i write some of them on that and on these dotted lines i don't really care like to fit my letters into these uh, spaces but i some of you like uh you are facing the same too i really wish that they wouldn't have changed a lot of features from last year's planner i just felt like it was perfect you know just having lines and uh this section like I think this adding this section is what really made them like crunch this. It's just getting a bit uncomfortable, especially in the weekly reflection page. So hopefully they, I don't really know how they like decide on what to change, what not to change. I do know that Alicia Souza, uh, for their planners, they sort of do a survey or they select people i don't know but basically but they do something wherein they ask people okay what is what are the changes that you want what are the features that need to be changed what's something that can be kept i don't really know how ink Bucket does but i think it'll be nice if they are like uh, listening to the feedback this tabs to it's fine but i i prefer if we did not have them even if we had tabs i would prefer like if it's outside the our pages like it doesn't reduce the page size i love these uh, things i really really need a cat hopefully that is soon anyways um i was thinking you remember last uh in november december for every weekly plan with me i would ask you guys for a topic and then i would talk about that throughout the video i think i want to get back into that from next week onwards let me know if you want me to talk about certain topics because there are some things which i can't do separate videos for mainly because uh of the planner setup uh you know the number of planner setups i have to complete and um, because i'm using multiple planners too there are a lot of them so if you want me to talk about any topic i can definitely do that during these weekly plan with me's so let me know what topic you'd like me to discuss about so i'll probably make this a weekly thing you know this particular weekly plan with me i'll ask you guys to give suggestions for next week's video and you can add in whatever questions you have in this video itself like under this video so i can pick it up from here and um like plan for plan to answer your questions it can be anything it need not be related to like planners i think sometimes it will be nice to take a break and talk about something else too i really love talking about books i love talking about uh personal development if you haven't like if 
if you are new to my channel and haven't seen like the earlier videos that i used to upload in 2020 it was mainly related to personal development so i like talking about that something that i can think of are like these two things as of now because that is what i have spoken about on my channel so far so yeah uh, this morning i woke up and i was feeling a bit like i don't know just that uncomfortableness in the throat i was so scared with where i'll get like uh, a cough because last time when i had got cough a few months back <laughs> i remember i filmed uh, like i filmed a weekly plan with me video it was a friday and then i was just sitting and editing i got a call and when i was trying to talk i, w I was just feeling that uh i was feeling a bit uncomfortable and then i was like oh i can just feel it i can feel the cough coming so this morning too i felt like that and then i was like i i drank hot water i did like all that i had to do to send it away and i'm feeling good now so i just saw this and like i remembered okay and also regarding book club i as promised i will be creating a book club pretty soon and i am currently planning so before i announce the details i just wanted to know what your thoughts are and if you have any ideas so that I can implement that in like before I announce the details itself because it is a club like I want it to be a community where everyone are engaging with each other and it's it's sort of uh, uh, like we're building it together you know it's not just me who is um, like who tells which book to read or something I don't want that I don't like the idea of it I want all of us to decide which book we um, we are going to read and things like that so if you have any like uh, ideas on what we can do in there some of the i actually put this question on instagram too and i've got some really really nice suggestions i can share a couple of them one was uh, like book exchange oh my god that i had not thought about it at all and it is such a good idea so if you have any thoughts like that do let me know and then another one of you um sent a message saying that you want it to be like um a community driven like you know everyone chooses which book to be read you can probably vote and decide then that is how i was thinking too so if you have any ideas about how like what are the best practices that we can have in this book club and activities that we can do i don't want it to be like an overwhelming thing you know something that will burden people not at all and it will obviously be optional to like participate in these things but just some best practices to build a really nice community where we can have some fun time so let me know like if you have any thoughts on that and also like platforms uh, which platform we can use i have like um i have some ideas in my mind i'm definitely drawn to like one particular platform but if you guys want something else i'm free to like change that thought and opinion so let me know like which platform you want to pick do you want it to be like on instagram you know create a group in there a group chat where we can where we all can be a part of it and something else uh, which one was that discord i haven't really looked at the details of this particular app i guess it's something like a chat um something like whatsapp i guess it's like that so that's one facebook i think that is uh, a good option too many book clubs are on facebook so if 
if it's that like whatever platform if you have been part of any other book club before that would be a great thing so you can sort of uh, based on your experience there if you have any ideas you can definitely share that with me and you, you want it to be like um you want to have a similar kind of experience in our book club i'll try my best to implement all like uh, as much feedback as i can but basically what i do want to do is create something that is like that I'm, i want it to be created by all of us like whoever is whoever is wanting to join the book club i want it to be created by all of us like taking into account your preferences your ideas and things like that so on that note we i think we're almost done with the stickers i just love them like the colors i think it's quite balanced i definitely prefer like these darker more earthy shades but i'm enjoying like um the pastel colors of this spread so we have like two more uh i think i'll actually save this because i uh, let me show you like if it's here yeah so with the botanical story planner i've been using it as a journal i know you guys have asked for the video like how to use this i will make a video on this shortly uh let me show you like one of the things that i have done so here we go we have the goals for the month page and the other day i just sat and like i journaled a bit before i created my monthly spreads so i'm really liking to add like these uh tiny heart stickers flowers leaves and things like that so i will save that sticker because it is nice to add it in the botanical story planner and now comes the priority boxes so yeah guys let me know about two things uh in the comments one is a topic for next week something that i could discuss about i have gotten a comment yesterday about um like sharing how i manage different aspects of my life so that is something i could talk about but if you have any other suggestions do let me know it can be related to like anything any question you have in mind uh a few weeks back i had gotten a few comments about like living in canada moving here if you have any questions regarding that so i'm not going to be answering like related to visa and the process and all of those things because there are there are really good resources on youtube already you can check that out uh, what i'm referring to is like the mindset and how i planned how i decided why did i want to go so uh i when i like watch videos of other people who shared their experience and how like how, what they were thinking when they made some decisions in their life it really helps me so i i'm hoping my story kind of helps you too so if you have questions related to that if you want me to discuss about it it can be anything let me know in the comments and i'll sort of create like a list in my planner i'll write down all the ideas and suggestions that you guys have given and week on week i can talk about uh different topics so that's one and then second thing is the book club regarding that to your any ideas you might have i'm open for that okay so we have a few more okay so i went ahead and added all of the priority boxes as well as these like smaller boxes so that i could track my one hour slow living routine i did that um yep so you can see here i'm doing it 
you know i've just put it on every single day so that has been really good i think it's just a nice little reminder every day for me to just prioritize that so in order to add that i've added like these smaller boxes on all of the days and i also went ahead and replaced the weekly affirmation header with this love the here and now this is to write down my to-do list for the week and then i also put the weekend banner in just to like differentiate between the weekdays and weekend last year we had that split into two halves so that was really nice i i just like it to be visually different from the rest of the spread so i did that and i don't think i'll be adding anything as of now in terms of like writing my plans because i haven't really like thought about it yet work was a little bit busy today and um i've got to work tomorrow as well tomorrow or sunday either of the two days i will be working so i just want to like relax for a bit today so i'm gonna leave this particular video in here and two reminders again one is a topic that we could talk about in the upcoming plan with me and then if you have any questions related to that and then uh, regarding book clubs any thoughts and ideas you have please leave them below because i will be planning for it over the weekend and i'll be announcing it sometime next week so if you have any just leave them under this video so yeah i'll leave you guys on that note i hope you guys are having a great weekend and i'll see you in my next one bye